Sagittarius, welcome to the studio in the urban jungle of Cancun. Forgive me if there's a little hammering. They're doing some work a couple houses away. This is your heart spread read for mid-November, guys. Reads the one on your mind, the one in your heart. Simple as that. And I've already pre-shuffled. On the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. So I'm guessing you're already in love with somebody here, guys. Simple as that. <laughs> this is your energy. In and around relationships, where your mind is at, where your heart is at right now. Kind of separating you from this relationship for a moment to get a baseline. And, you know, I've been banging, I'm Sagittarius, I've been banging the hermit energy for years. Um, so, uh, this could speak to Virgo in your chart. Look, I'm a Virgo rising. We all have Virgo somewhere. Um, but really what this is, uh, you've been doing the good work, which I believe is going inside and looking at yourself, pointing your finger at you illuminating the shadow stuff here we are on the um, new moon in scorpio it's all about this but with this lover's card it's like maybe you know you're in the cave but someone's got your interest from outside the cave ha 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 sad maybe an aries has your interest huh yeah you're in love with an aries sag and aries sitting in a tree it's a great match by fire by sign right by sun sign the magician card this is how you're feeling about them Sag you feel like you manifested them boom that's what that is feel like you manifested them and they see you as a treasure you know in Aries um, they're they're uh, generally speaking you know the archetype it's only going to give their energy to what they feel is going to benefit them Maybe it's an energy that, uh, an honesty about it. I like Aries energy, it's really frank, very upfront. Um, but um, but you really got them thinking. Um, they're looking at this coin like it's just the most amazing thing in the world. So they might be younger than you, a little more naive than you. I believe there's, you're dealing with someone, if there's any doubt, Saggies, very sincere, this person. Um, okay, with the Page of Pentacles and the way they're reacting to you, I see the Lover's card. Um, however they're reacting to you that's sincere it's not going to change first of all they're the emperor whether they're aries or not think sun moon rising and venus may not be just the aries sun here um, this is someone that's solid okay and now they're solid for you page of pentacles like maybe this just happened but page of pentacles like they're doing the math and they're thinking it through and they're like liking it they're, they find you to be a valuable thing valuable asset now this is your advice from spirit for this relationship Sagis, and this is saying go for it this is like a big just do it go for it and it's coming under the magician so you also see this kind of confirmation it could speak to leo in your chart or fifth house energy in your chart too um but it's like be bold uh, go ahead and be sexy uh take control uh, male or female it's like there's a an element here of being dominant being confident with this person who may well be a little bit younger than you um, now under the page of Pentacles comes the tower and the tower is not always you know a disaster I mean we go through tower stuff all the time um, but this is coming right underneath their page of Pentacles and this is significant because this is their advice for you, Sag. And I'd love for this to be shared. Um, if you could share this with your person, maybe if it resonates and means something. Um, so something in terms of the relationship with you, they have to let go of something. Something has to come down. Something has to be let go of. Um, I get the feeling this is not like about a past person with them. Um, it's something in their life. Um, that they have to let go of and it's opposite your king of wands so you're very dominant here let me see what the advice for the relationship as a whole is the sun card best card in the deck this is in the crux of the heart spread here in the bottom as the heart begins to take shape if you can see it all um, but to get the sun here this is a real blessing for a relationship and the sun's coming between the king of wands and the tower. I'd see this as kind of like, uh, I would say with this, it's because of you, Sagittarius. And I'm not saying there's a fault, because probably it's fine. There's a soulmate thing going on here, always. Um, but it's like you brought down this tower for them. And it could be with the sun here, it was like an illumination. 
like your sun, your light, your sag, and your immutable fire, you're always giving off energy, give it off. They really got a lot out of it, and it's like you showed them something um, that changed everything for them. And in some way, uh, it sort of uh, ended something for them, uh, but not in a, this is not in a bad way. It's like you cleared the field uh, in their mind. And the outcome, we have the Queen of Cups, a beautiful queen in this deck, the Illuminated uh, Ethereal Visions deck. Um, and this is a beautiful outcome. This shows a relationship here when you come together. Uh, here's your first cup. And it has to be the Queen of Cups. So, you know, I think like when you guys get together here, um, it becomes a very emotional relationship. And it could be, I do look at the first six cards as kind of sinistry, and the last two, advice and outcome, as composite. And you might be a Leo uh, ascendant in your composite chart, a relationship chart. If you are, would you check that? Or if you know your composite chart and see if you're not a Leo ascendant. Maybe you have your uh, composite sun in the fifth house, or in Leo, as well, uh, kind of energy. So when you guys come together, you bring out the emotional side in each one, and uh, people uh, would see you as an emotional couple too. Uh, someone's a, a couple, uh, both people who are mature, emotionally available, mostly intelligent, um, kind of a couple. And you'd have that way of being available to each other, you know. So I could see why this brought you out of your cave here, Sag. Um, this uh, strong Aries personality, um, very open to you, to your influence. Um, they're, you're shining light on them. It's very positive. Um, and I think like uh, with the magician here too, with your energy towards them, you're kind of feeling like, good job. Uh, I did a good job. I manifested this. They might be feeling the same thing about you. But... Um, why it certainly can be both ways why not so thank you guys give me a like if you would thumbs up uh, tell friend tell friend I do appreciate it if you haven't to subscribe and hit the bell I uh, have the strict reading always on Friday schedule that is uh, is Sag and Cap day uh, we also do the um, singles read meet the soulmate and if you haven't checked the soul family read that's up for the weekend and I do a read for you guys uh, this weekend I did an all signs read with timestamps, so see if you maybe resonate with that for the week and maybe it adds something to this, Sag. Thank you guys.